Hey everyone, Cryption Gaming Jake here bringing you another tutorial on aiming. So a lot of people have really complimented me on my aiming, so I thought I'd give something back. You know, I do see people make quite a few mistakes to do with their aiming, so hopefully I'll cover it in this quick tutorial. Okay, so number one, mouse sensitivity and mouse smoothing. What you want to do is you want to make your way into the options menu. You can do this by pressing escape and going to option by um, when you're in game. Head on over to the control tab at the top. Now as for mouse smoothing, always have this slider at zero because if you have it at full, what you're going to get is you're going to get a really smooth mouse and it just it feels horrible to me and I cannot control my mouse for the life of me if I have that. And as for the sensitivity, have a number, I mean you can you can tell mine is 69 and yeah, but have a number that feels right to you, you just have to experiment and play with this, I found mine to be 69 exactly. Uh, it could I could just put any number and get used to it, 100% is a bit too dramatic. If you want a recommended number, try and find one that allows you to do 180 degrees with one swipe. So I'm doing one mouse swipe right now, and uh, wait, that wasn't really proper one. And um, I'm sort of able to get a hundred and eighty degrees, not perfect one hundred and eighty degrees turns, but you know something not too slow because this is a fast-paced game. So if I was to bunny up around the corner, say someone was here, I was to bunny up around the corner, I've got to be able to move my mouse to him. Or if there was someone behind this box, for example, and I was going to bunny up in, I I got to be able to look there, and I got to be able to turn around and look here, and turn around and look here. You know, so have a sensitivity that's comfortable, but uh, you're able to do 180 degrees turns quite easily, I guess. Now the second one is crosshair placement, and I see players make this mistake all the freaking time, and it is so annoying. So here I'm going to do no crosshair placement at the start, and uh, if you can't tell what I'm doing wrong, then you probably have this problem as well. And what I'm basically doing is I'm always looking at the floor. Uh, crosshair placement at the floor is the worst thing ever. So what you really want to be doing is, I mean, if you don't do that then you're golden, but what you want to do is, if this doesn't seem obvious to players, obviously it, it, doesn't, it isn't that obvious with everyone because people do this mistake, have your red dot in positions that you're going to go so my crosshair placement is always going to be where players are come from, coming from so say for example if I'm coming around this corner and I I need to check the vents my crosshair placement is going to be yeah just edging around to look at the vents so if someone's there I'll be able to open fire at them and then I'll come around here and maybe have my crosshair placement here maybe someone's leaning around that corner I might be able to catch his head and you know headshots do pretty much well, K1 60 damage somewhere around there so two shots to the head with the K1 would kill him if I was coming around here I might have my well I wouldn't come around into mid bomb like this but you see what I'm getting at you wanna have your crosshair placement for where you're going and if you're gonna look at the floor enemies don't come out of the floor so doing this is a real bad habit so it's kind of hard to think of examples for this but let's say if I'm coming out to escalators from the office my crosshair placement might be here might scan around to here because people always invert lean there might come around to there because people lean at the back of there people invert lean there as well um, just wherever you think players might be that's where you want to put your crosshair placement and for the escalator room if I wanted to come in I might have my crosshair placement here for the bush there for that corner and I might turn around and look behind the door I completely skipped this part but maybe I might check that as well, maybe I might come around here, check that, check that, check that, check that. I mean, Warlock's not a slow paced game, but you do need some crosshair placement. In addition to crosshair placement, you want to place your crosshair at the head height. you got to know your scale of Warlock, so for example, if I'm invert leaning here, as I come in now, take note of where my crosshair is, at the height it's at. When the player came in, my crosshair was at his head level. You always want to be aiming at head level because of how much damage headshots do. I mean, you could get away with aiming at body level and that, but it's just another thing to take in mind. Uh, last minute stuff that I might say would be useful is every time you roll and you go into third person view, 
uh, instantly press space the same way you would bunny hop so you keep your first person view so if I was to roll around the corner and say someone was here if I was to roll around the corner it's a bit hard to try and get my aim on him and and kill him um, yeah rolling around in third person view is a bit annoying so roll around in first person all you do is when you roll instantly at space and should be in first person view um, make a habit of that because that's always good oh yeah and one last thing you can do is if stuff feels a bit sticky or the surface of your mouse doesn't feel too right then just throw a flannel on there wipe your surface of your where your mouse is get your um, your mouse itself and clean that don't worry the laser won't be hurt or anything just get it completely um, clean anything sticky on there that might disrupt your high-end gameplay and get your uh, your towel and just dry up afterwards it should be all be fine if uh, you're having any last minute problems so yeah that is a professional tip but I think that about covers it so thank you for watching and take care